Excellent. Abby has taken me just to STGPRO. If I finish with and start being very intelligent, people will start approaching me because of my intelligence. But the PRO part is the most yes, interesting. It's, it's just this. So you actually contested for something that you lost. I lost. How did you feel? Some people are just pain. They are just very angry when they see you. They just want you to sit down and serve them. Sir, please. So being a public figure, how do you feel like walking down the streets of Abs? I wish I knew that there was no time. You cannot be a PRO and not have uh, Even no, in your okay. chat, you should be very, very careful. The biggest thing about being a public figure is that I value nothing more than the fact that the head feelings came to this position. I'm single at the moment. Do you know why? Did you get caught? Yeah, I got pain. I'm advised to be that all public figure. A good name is better than one. Is there any money laundering issues in your administration? <laughs> Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Faye Bomesoma here again and this channel is all about fashion, lifestyle, skincare, you know, all that good stuff, my journey in life and everything. But today with me here, I have a guest. So if you are new to this channel, don't forget to like, share and of course, subscribe. I will be introducing my guest to you. Please tell us about yourself and everything. Hello, my name is Chinedu Fortune. Popularly known as Feelings, Abia State University STG PRO. In today's video, we are going to be doing more of like a question tag. Just make sure you watch this video and of course share. The first question on my list is how do you feel as the STG PRO? It's nice, I must say. Don't just stop there, like go okay. further. Just tell me how you feel. <laughs> it's interesting, it's stressful, and it's okay. Just stressful yeah. and nice. That's just how you feel. Yeah, I feel like generally, I feel, I feel happy. I feel like a celebrity. <laughs> You're yeah, actually a celebrity. Do you get? Like yes, you become a public figure and all of that. Do it's very very stressful if you take the work to heart. Mm -hmm. Media is something that requires passion. Most times, this particular office mm -hmm. requires passion. Yes. Okay. And you putting passion will mm -hmm. give you the popularity and every other thing you need. Yeah. So generally, you just feel nice and okay as you put it. Yes, and stressed. So the next question I have on my list is, what are the challenges you experience? The biggest challenge I actually experience in this office is combining with academics. Okay. You know, being a PRO, it takes a lot from you. We'll come to that later. Okay. I have a particular question I'm going to ask you. This is actually the next question. So how do you handle being in this position and your academics? Like, how do you handle not fluctuating? Omo. <laughs> you said it's Omo. Tough. Very, very, very tough. How tough? And tell me how you manage the both of them together. Some excellent. I don't advise anybody mm -hmm. in 400 level okay. optometry to buy the complex. You're an optometry student. Yes. Okay, that's nice. So let's say your junior colleague comes to you and tell you, um, Senior Co, SGPRO, I want to buy the form. You tell the person not yes, to I'll buy the form. Yes, I tell him, please, you can go for another position, but you see SGPRO. Okay. Please don't go there. It's like in the whole SG stuff, the PRO part is the most yes, stressful. It's the most stressful because you're dealing with the public. Okay. You're the only one that communicates to the public directly. Okay. Now imagine a school of almost 30,000 students. Wow. And everybody coming to you, particularly for information. Wow. And you know, you can't snub anybody. You have your own exactly. personal life compared to being a PRO. And you have to just be nice, you just have to accommodate everybody. Imagine you now as the public relations officer now handling 30,000 people's problems, including external. Yes, so it's really a lot. Then mm -hmm. you will now combine it now with okay. education. So if the person was in a different department, let's say, for instance, I'm a law student and I want to run for SGPR, would you advise me to go ahead? Now, do you know the thing? You know, we, we speak for what we see. Okay. Do you understand? As I'm in optometry now, mm -hmm. seeing the workload mm -hmm. in optometry and combining to SGPR, not So you everybody. can't really speak for other departments yes, or you can't speak, I can't for, speak for But if you have been able to manage it and handle it, don't you feel like someone else will be able to do something now, like that? Now, now I have a little thing to help people there. It's just grace. Okay. When people say grace, you look as if it's something that never happens. You're just looking for how to So you believe in the God factor as well? Yes, because my dear, I know efforts people put to read. Though I, I, I carry SUG problems, mm -hmm. and let me call it SUG problems, and then I will now come into optometry and I read once, 
I understand, and wow. that's my red comes out. It's not something that is normal. I wanted to ask you your advice to other people, but we've already talked on that. Like, did you ever imagine that when you came to, into this school in 100 level, one day you'd be a celebrity, the SGPRO? Now, honestly, when I was in 100 level, I keep saying it. Anybody told me that I was involved in politics at all, I think I would beat that person and see that person as a liar. I wanted to do my sword before I got up there. Then, I was somebody that always wanted to be reading books, I just wanted to be that serious person. If I finish reading and start being very, very intelligent, people will start approaching me because of my intelligence. At the time I said, okay, that I will read my book, get A's, and my course rep will now be the ones that approach me and say, bro, I want to work with you. 100 level second semester. And funny enough, that particular program that led me to politics, I did not want to go for that. Can you tell us about the program? No, no it, was my, it was my departmental interest. I wanted to go. There was one guy, this guy does not have interest. In anything as at that moment. That particular day for induction, this guy was pushing me, bro, come, let's go for this induction. I think I'm tired. What will they go to this place? Go find. Don't be the same way the day. So, in other words, you owe everything to that particular guy that from probably partially. Do you know I say partially? Because what? involving the God factor, we will say God uses somebody okay. to direct you. Yes, what exactly. You I went for that program. And then somebody made a statement there. What was the particular statement? Can you remember? Anything you want to do, start now. But you just okay. said earlier that you didn't want to be. No, see what happened. When that thing started, mm -hmm. you didn't want to be start now. After you made that statement, they now announced that the election has started, the bands are open. Now, they now announced 100 level to the focus. So I was like, I don't want to graduate a level program. Okay. But I don't want to involve in politics. Okay. Later that night, I posted a flyer. I just posted a write up. Mm -hmm. Showing votes, she voting for Mr. Purple. Just like a joke. Three people reposted it. I was like, if wow. that is not famous, we post something. Three people I don't know how to post this. Which means if I come out, I'll win. But then if I came out and lost. You actually contested for something and you lost. I lost. How did you feel? Now I felt very, very bad because the election was contested. The first so time. So you lost the first time. I, I won the first time. First one was cancelled because there was too much Mago Mago. So like yeah. electoral malpractice yes. for those that don't know what yes. Mago Mago means. The second time, mm -hmm. two days to election, they stole my phone. Should we say that that is also the God factor? Yes. Because maybe if you would have won that, you wouldn't have aspired for something no. as high as Now, this. funny enough, that was just... When they stole my phone, I was facing the process of them stealing my phone. So, I lost with 15 votes. Now, that made me. I said, I came out for this thing, I lost. I want to do something that when I'm doing it, Eh? Mm -hmm. People will see me doing this and they will not have reasons to want to come out for the position I want to come out. That was the effect of Women's Press, my blog. Oh, you have a blog actually. So is your blog like still functioning? Yeah, now? it's functioning. Since from the very start, you had interest in this whole media yes, stuff I and had the interest rest. in media. There are some things that you will like, but it's not true. Okay. When I started media, I started sending out news. The goal of sending out that news was not for blogging. It so, what fun. type of news exactly were you School putting news. out? Um, external news. Anything that can just make people informed, I will just send it out. You get it. So, you really wanted to do the whole information stuff? No, before then, I did not want to. The goal of that thing was to promote me. Like, I just wanted to be popular. And now you, you are actually. Now it not happen. You just said you have a blog. So, aside from your blog, do you have any other business? You sell narrators, sell ring lights, I sell contact. The whole ring light thing, it can also be channeled into the media space. Wow, so your life is just media. Why, do, why are you not looking for meth now? Why are you even now, studying see, they or something? Now, see the thing, tell me that why am I not studying mass comms? Some people tell me why am I not doing this administration? Media is just like your passion. Yes, it's my passion, but it's not like I want to study such things. If we have to go back in time, is there any mistake you have made so far? In my political life, but in my personal life, in terms of love and emotion. Uh, when you talk about love, like, do you mean like boyfriend, girlfriend, or do you mean like, but, but, like general love for everybody? No, no, everything involved. Now. What's that particular thing that you wish that if you were to go back, you would just change? Me, not having boundaries, just allowing anybody anything to do anything. Happens. You get? Yes, I because get. Because most times I would just compromise my own principles for other people to just be comforted. But people don't compromise their bond. They'll take you for granted when they're not meant to take you for granted. Yeah. Okay, do you have any regrets so far? For now, no. 
something. Wow, that means you must be really good for you not to have any regrets. It, no, it's it's not like you don't have problems. You no know, problem and regrets are not the same. Yes, exactly. I don't regret anything in my life at the moment because just see everything is working according to its time. Mm. Most times you're you're the one carrying your passion alone. Okay. Most times everybody feels like you're okay. Mm. Everybody feels like you have all the encouragement to me, but you, you know Yourself, what you're fighting you know? inside. Do you understand? Yes, exactly. So these are not regrets, but these are problems that do come up every day. You just say you think, I'm, I'm the only one on this battle. Mm. I'm the only one trying to achieve this thing. You know, you can't tell everybody what you're passing through. Exactly. They're just seeing the good side of it. They're just seeing the happy feelings. Exactly. They're just seeing the smiley faces yes, so and everything. That's that's part of the problems you face. I wanted so to ask, if you had to go back like to your 100 level, would you still have contested for the SGPRO? Come on. But to be very honest with you, this was the best time because if i contested my 100 level the power and the the respect they gave me today may not be there do you understand you know most times they will look at you from your level okay your 400 level do you get so the respect they should have given you they'll give it to you they'll accord it to you but this was like the best time for me to contest so do you have any challenges from like your fellow classmates how do you feel like they look at you now presently now now some of them are happy but in life even when you're doing the right thing everyone can be happy everyone with can be happy with you. there are some people that are just pain sometimes i sit and ask myself do they know what somebody is passing through some people are just pain they are just very angry when they see your feelings you're not doing this one they just want you to sit down and serve them. Sir, please, as you woken up, sir, please, those type of things. Exactly. But then you know it's not possible because them in that position may do worse than what you do. Exactly. Nobody really knows what you're passing through. Everybody just wants you to please them. Okay. Do you get? So this is what I see some from some prospects. Why some are very, very supportive. Okay. Some are very, very encouraging. Bro, you're trying. So the support is not like from everyone. Yes, I have an encouraging amount. What was one thing you wish you knew before running for office? I don't think. So you yeah. felt like before you came into this position that you knew everything? No, no see the thing. That's why I said, grace do carry Before now, I, I have a place I mapped out everything I wanted to do in office. I'm not talking about everything you wanted to do. Like, I'm talking about things you wish you knew earlier or something of that nature because someone might be watching this video now and the person wants to run for this particular office. Now, I wish I knew that there was no time. My only, my only happiness is that even within the short time, I, I knew I achieved a reasonable amount of things by God's grace. But then, I wish I knew that this time, the time was this short. How long have you been in this position for? Seven months. Do you have any future political ambition? I cannot be a PRO and not have a future. Ah, politician. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully, we are heading somewhere. Though we cannot disclose for now. How has it been working as a team with other SUGs? It's very nice. Mm -hmm. Everybody has their own bad side. Are you like a secular student? Like, what's your go to go routine? Do you like just attend lectures, come back to your room? Come on. Like, you know, how does a typical normal day yeah. as a student look like to for you? To be very, very honest with you, I've never planned a day and it went according to what I planned. Okay. I can plan today at um, at the enter class by 8. I'll go to class by that 8. Mm -hmm. One following. Sir, please, we need you here at this time. Mm -hmm. You will leave. He never planned on leaving that class. But you will leave that class to the next place and go to that place. Mm -hmm. Or you know, just get that scatter. Now you have to be at your office by 3. You'll be in your office by 3. Now, meetings that you're not meant to hold here will now come with people that also have emergency meetings. You cannot tell them, no, I did not schedule meetings for you today. They are all students. Mm -hmm. You have to meet From there, your time is cut, then you give back to your load. So you have to be in your office by 3. 3 to what time exactly? Most times I stay there from 3 to 5. Most times. Being a student and then... Wow. Unless I have practical then I'm not going to. So being a public figure, how do you feel like walking down the streets of Absu? Do you like now, enter bike or do you go with car? Like, that's how do you feel? I don't like coming out. And even if I come out, I don't like staying at the place. Because I feel like people are just watching me. Mm -hmm. You have to greet anybody that comes by. Yes, it's but you don't greet them, they'll say, this proud. man is proud. So most times, I only, I, if I'm visiting people, I visit them from 7 in the night. I don't like people seeing me outside. If you want me to see you during the day, you have to come and see me. Public people. So, but and it's it's very very annoying to some extent, and it's very very nice to some extent because yes, you're not denied any leverage. You know there is no place you go in Abia State University. You tell them you're this person. Uh -huh. 
and, and then, you don't gain access. Exactly. But to under side, because you have to always be keeping up to dress, keeping up to speech, making sure you're not making mistakes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you get and even in your okay. chats. You should be very very careful. Now everybody feels like um, a public figure is always um, occupied. They always have friends. They always have to buy around. But the biggest truth about being a public figure is that you have friends finally, but people are not going to be very very close to you because of the fear of content and familiarity. Let me give for example. Now you're talking to hundred people. Maybe people are, people are now talking very well. You know people are this way when they see that this person has value. They always want to diss their friend that this person is dissing with them. That person that dissing now is saying you have a high profile. So you now, knowing that this type of thing can come up, you have to be very, very careful yeah. while talking to people. Mm. And most times it leads to loneliness because you're always trying to organize yourself. You're always, you're trying, always to trying to mind what to say. Most times it's not really easy. Most times you can stay. Nobody is and there. Then saying all this, you still have future political ambitions, knowing that it's still going to be like this. Now the truth is this. Even in my race as a public figure, mm -hmm. I find that I have this love for me. I value nothing more than the fact that the head feelings came to this position mm -hmm. and he did very well and made this legacy. In having a future ambition is to go to that place and make the same records that have been making in the past. As I told you, public figure is not that bad, but it's not as perfect as everybody pictures it to be. Did your relationship with people change like after you came into office? Did you have to like drop some people or your relationship with them grew? Like just some no, general. Sadly, relationship. Wow. Did you get hurt? Yeah, I got pain. And I still I still feel the pain sometimes because I still still sit down on my own and say, but you're a man. They always say men don't show emotions. And then they look at you as a, as a strong man. But truly, men have emotions. So exactly. sometimes I just sit down and say, child, almost all my friends, yeah. they are not there. Mm. Because it's, it's like you being busy every day. Nobody wants to be treated like you're being too busy. Mm. Now, some friends that, that are left by the side because of issues that came up. Mm. Even while I was in office. There was a time that there was much loneliness. I was like, child, mm. what is really happening? But then, you cannot just optimize yourself on that. I just exactly. have to just carry on with life. And this is actually the last question because the video is getting so long. How do you manage your personal life, relationship, academics, spiritual life? Like, how do you get a blend of everything? I was still so Managing your personal life. What the part of relationship? Like both love life, your relationship with people, friendship. Now, like, how love do you manage life, at the moment, I am I'm single at the moment. Mm. You know why? <laughs> because I know my schedule will not be. Okay, so do do that, that is not that will not even be the reason because if there are a series of experiences somebody may have had that made the person to say, okay, this is fine. I'm not going to be going to relationship. But that aside. This school will be busy a very busy schedule. And as I said before, a public figure life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody is for you. But you cannot be close to them. Do you have any final words, any advice, anything you like to say? This is like an advice to all leaders, all public figures. Always a good A good name. This is what I always tell myself. I wanted to ask one very important question. Was there any money laundering issue in your administration? There was nothing of that nature, but my administration had the money of the people that were willing to work. Wow. That means you are really blessed with a wonderful thing. Okay. Yeah. So, it was like that, but then the financial support is the because most times I, I, I know I organize some programs during the year. But then people will always feel like, okay, this is SUG. We gave everybody in SUG one, one million naira. And then this guy is using one million naira very well. But funny enough, the programs I do is because of passion. Me, me having this mindset that I don't want to wake up one day and somebody will tell me, she will do something with my work. When I know I have the passion, so I could put my own resources in 
very very painful. So there were a lot of times where you had to put your own resources. Wow. A lot of times. So except from the whole public figure, the father, when you walk into an office or any place in Abu, like Abia State University, in case you don't know what that means, you're being given this respect. What else do you enjoy? Each other privilege. Nah, this is the happiness of being in my power. So you do commission for your children. Okay. There may be people now that other people can ask you. Okay. But because you're an executive, okay. you can confidently approach me. So I'm this person. Introduce yourself and you this person. I remember in pre-convocation when I met with the child of and this man that handled us in pre-convocation. If I was a normal student, I would not have the confidence to approach them. But now I could approach them happily, knowing that I'm the PRO. Exactly. We don't have much to say. I just want us to exchange conduct and talk. And it worked out. If I if I was nobody, I would not want to go and snap picture with the deputy governor on convocation day. Mm -hmm. But I had the opportunity to do this with confidence. Why? Because I knew I held a position. So like this, I have pictures with um, uh, like when I did it, I was like, "Chai, see small picking." God yeah. when, oh God when, I'm still small, please. <laughs> okay, thank you guys yeah. for watching. We yeah. have come to the end of this video. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And of course, see you in my next video. If, if you have not subscribed to the Absolute S U G Media, yes. So go and subscribe to that channel as well, and see you in my next video. Make sure you drop a comment as well.